Hey everyone, welcome back to part two. Let's get into it. Shift S to set your cursor back to origin. In object mode, shift A to add a cube. Move this cube into position to become a foot. Now, we'll make it very similar to how we made the hand. The bottom reference will come in handy for this part. I, for the life of me, can't get used to my graphics tablet. If I sit down and use it for hours, it gets easier to draw smooth lines. But even if I take a couple minute break, I immediately forget how to use it. This method of 3D modeling that I use is great and all, but I strongly recommend that you look into sculpting as well at some point. When you do, you'll learn all about retopology, which I actually kind of find fun. I strongly recommend getting a graphics tablet, especially if you want to do any sort of digital sculpting or drawing at some point. I have a Wacom tablet that I got for like 60 bucks, so they can be semi-affordable, even for like my broke ass. Do the Alt-M merge thing that we did on the hand pause. This time though, only select the bottom two vertices to extrude and scale. Grab the top two vertices and edge slide. Select these four vertices and make a face. Scale this edge. It's kind of not terrible. So now we can apply the subsurface modifier. In object mode, shift select the foot and the body in that order. Control J to join the objects. Delete this vertex. Turn back on clipping. Make the opening circular-ish. Add a circle and position it. Now join this circle to the body. Alt select the edge loop and extrude it down. Scale it to fit. I had to scale the foot on the X axis to make it better. Connect everything up and adjust until you like it. His legs look weird currently, so let's move stuff around. Since I completely made up this body shape, I'm not too concerned with making it match the reference 100%. I think this looks pretty decent. To make the tail, add a circle, scale it down. Extrude the circle into the body. Alt select the circle and shift select the very top vertex and change pivot point to active element. Extrude and rotate the circle by negative 10 degrees. Do that again. Extrude out the tip of the tail, scale by zero. Add edge loops and shape the tail. A to select all and C to circle select. While holding shift, circle deselect the tip of the tail. Alt M and merge by distance. Shade smooth. Add a subdivision modifier and make any last minute adjustments. Anything you don't fix now, you're stuck with forever. Organize your outliner, have some kind of snack if you want to, sub to our channel, otherwise your, your model will look wrong. After re-watching the footage to make the script, I realized I wasn't quite happy with the shape of the head, so I re-recorded making his head, this time with slightly better topology and hopefully making it easier to follow. Place a cube. Add a subdivision modifier. Do some preliminary shaping. Apply the subdivision modifier to give yourself more geometry to work with. And then add another subdivision modifier. Do some head reshaping. Delete half and add a mirror modifier. With these eight faces selected, hit I and then B to inset faces along the mirrored edge. Extrude these vertices downward. Do some vertex repositioning. Keep in mind the shape you want to achieve. Move vertices away from each other if any of the angles are too harsh. This looks decent to me, so let's make room for an ear. Select these vertices and hit I to inset faces. Double tap G to edge slide these vertices and make the opening more circular. Extrude these faces out. Pull the back vertices to about here. With Ctrl R, add an edge loop. Select these three faces and extrude them out. Position everything on the ear until you're happy with it, and the ear is done. Last thing to do is make a nose. Select this vertex and hit Ctrl B and V to bevel an individual vertex. Spend some time positioning these vertices. Use J to turn these faces back into quads. With everything in place, select the nose faces and extrude them outwards. Reposition these new vertices. And parts of his head feel a little lumpy to me, so I'm gonna smooth everything out. I don't like how large these front faces are, so I'm gonna add a little more topology. An edge loop isn't gonna quite work, so I'm going to delete this edge and use the knife tool. Use J to make a few more edges. 
and make any final last changes you want to. Also, connect these two vertices with J. So, let's make his guitar. Add a plane. Position it so that it matches the neck of the guitar. Select all and extrude it back. Select these two top vertices and scale down this edge. Add an edge loop, smooth shade, and add an edge split modifier. Select the top faces, extrude them up, and scale on the X axis. Then reposition these back vertices. Select all the top vertices, extrude and scale them to match the guitar head. In object mode, add a 16 vertice circle. Rotate it by 90 degrees on the X axis. Scale it down to the size of the sound hole. It is literally called a sound hole. Extrude and scale a circle out, double tap G to edge slide these vertices. Delete these bottom vertices and this entire side. Add a mirror and a subdivision modifier. Enable clipping. Add another circle, delete half of it and position it. Delete these three vertices. Add an edge loop on the top of the circle. Select the bottom circle and extrude new faces out. Select these vertices and connect them. Now select these vertices, extrude them and merge at center with Alt-M. Drag the merged vertices to the center so they clip together. And then fill in this opening however you want. It's flat and will always be flat, so you could just have one giant face and it wouldn't matter. Alt select this outer edge and extrude it back. There appears to be a face normal issue, so select all with A and hit Alt N to recalculate the normals outside. Add an edge loop to both ends of the guitar. Turn off the reference and fill in the back with faces. The only thing to worry about here is to make sure we have a nice loop of faces so the corner rounds nicely. Go back into the guitar neck object and make it a little thicker. Also, rotate it back a bit. Select the sound hole loop and extrude it into the body. Add an edge loop to even out the edge curve. Let's add a simple bridge and whatever this thing is called. In the next episode, we'll cover the stuff that we're going to cover in the next episode. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed our video. Also, leave a comment if you're excited for Paper Mario Origami King, because I just saw a trailer for that and that's all I can think about. Okay, I love you, bye!